Also tonight on the edge, he holds a top job at a local school district, but he's about to receive a lesson on what not to post on Facebook. Fox News' Randy Wimbley tells us what has the local Arab American community so upset tonight. 7th century Islamic goat humpers. Actually, it's juvenile. Not only is bigoted, it's juvenile. That's part of a post Roseville Community Schools board member Alfredo Francisconi allegedly shared on his Facebook page. And needless to say, it's rubbing some the wrong way. It seems that he uh, is a flat out bigot and it bothers uh, us that he is overseeing the education of children here in southeastern Michigan, including Muslim children and Arab American children. That will lead heads up the Michigan chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations, and he's calling for Francicone to resign. This is just a reflection of his worldview. We wanted to get the school board members take on the post. We called his number, stopped by his house, but were unable to get a hold of him. It was disappointing. We did, however, catch up with his colleague, Teresa Janay, the school board president. I'm sorry this happened, and I'm sure his intent wasn't malicious. Knowing you, Mr. Francisconi, he's been very dedicated to our school board for many years. I mean, almost over 25 years. Doesn't matter if this guy has served 25 years or not. If he's ex exhibiting flat out hostile and racist behaviors and saying these things over social media, then he doesn't deserve a public trust. But it's not the first time Francisconi has been linked to controversy. CNG News reported he removed this post from his Facebook page in 2013 after learning someone was offended by it. It shows three victims of the Boston Marathon bombings in states. Care says that Islamophobia is the biggest problem in American Islamic relations. Well, I'm thinking maybe it's dead Americans. You had 9-11, Fort Hood, the Boston Marathon bombing, ISIS. Some people would say, a lot of people would say, there is legitimacy in that point. Is there a problem with terrorism? the world, yes, but then we should look at global terrorism and see all the different religious groups who are committing terrorism. It's unclear just how many students of Islamic faith are enrolled in Roseville schools. Superintendent John Kamen says he would not yet comment on the Facebook post or the fallout surrounding it because he has not yet seen the post in question. We did send it to him. I'm Randy Wembley, and this is The Edge.